Folks, I'm going to turn my new 5K Retina iMac, uh, which is awesome. You can see my reflection in there, into a video editing powerhouse. And so I've bought some additional RAM. Now it says it's notebook RAM on here, but this is what I've done some research. This is crucial technologies. This should work with the 5K uh, Retina screen iMac. So I'm going to replace the RAM in this and show you how to do it fairly simple uh, situation. I have 32 gigs of RAM instead of the eight that it shipped with. And that should really help significantly when it comes to video editing. Okay, so I have naturally unplugged the iMac. I'm gonna real carefully lay it down on this towel. So this is very static free little environment that I have here, which is important. I'm gonna lay it down nice and easy. So that towel is just there to make sure I don't damage the uh, retina screen. I'm gonna also kind of lean this forward as much as I can. Looks like I already have got it forward as much as I can go. And now I'm gonna show you how to get into this. Okay, so I've changed the camera angle. And you can see this little button right here. This is what you push in to release this door. I'm gonna try to get it with my thumbnail, see if I can get it to release. Okay, so my thumbnail would not work. Let's try this with a little suction cup. And I'll suction that down and pull. Oh, look at that, it pulls out just fine with this little household suction cup, like you might just, uh, used to hang a picture or something on the wall. That worked just great. Okay, so I've tried to shed a little more light on things here and it shows little arrows there on the little toggles. So you see how you're supposed to pull them out to get that thing to spring forward. Okay, so I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna pull these out. And uh, it looks like it just kind of pivots forward, doesn't it? So I can see I'm actually looking down through the hole in the top of the, uh, of the back plate here. I'm gonna pull these out and I have four eights to put in. So we'll just make sure those fit down and make sure the slot is in the right position. The slot, the short end is over on this side. You can see it pops in real nice and easy. Make sure it gets seated real well there. And we'll put our final chip in. Okay, and we're gonna push it back forward and it'll lock back in place. So now we have our four eights in, in position. Now we can put this thing back on. And it pops back in place real nice and easy. Okay, so I'm shooting over my shoulder a bit as I do this. I'm gonna restart the Mac. Aha, uh -huh, coming up. Okay, I'll enter my password. So it looks here like I have OS X Yosemite version 10, 10, 2. I'm at creating a screen, memory 32 gigs of 1600M HZ DDR3 RAM. So the question may arise, Tony, does that void your warranty with Apple to go ahead and crack it open like that? Folks, it's a little door on the back. You, you saw how simple the procedure was. I don't know, I honestly don't care. It's 600 bucks or 5.95 or something to get the 32 gig option with this Retina Screen Mac. And you know what I paid for these little chips? I think altogether it was 240 bucks off Amazon for all 32 gigs of RAM and about five minutes of my work. The only thing that was a negative, uh, so I almost cracked my thumbnail trying to pry that thing up the thumbnail. A little quick household uh, suction cup and you're able to pull the back off. That was the only difficulty I ran into the whole thing. So 240 bucks, maybe with tax, 250, 54 bucks or something, that's what I paid for 32 gigs of RAM on Amazon. Looks like it's working smashing good. A lot of RAM in that new Retina iMac. So, you know, if you think it's gonna void your warranty, I honestly didn't do, even care to research it. Uh, it was just something I wanted to do and save myself a bunch of bucks. And now I have a really butt kicking great iMac with the Retina screen. So uh, do this if you like. Uh, if, you want, if you're worried about your warranty or something, go ahead and check it out online, do a little research and see if it does. I can't imagine that just opening up that door and putting your RAM in there is gonna void the warranty. I think maybe if you took the whole thing apart or something, that might do it. But I think any of us should be free to add additional memory to our computer, wouldn't you think? So that's my two cents worth, folks. I hope this video has helped someone. Simple procedure. Uh, good luck out there with your new iMac 27. Uh, with the retina screen. And I guess this will work probably for the other models as well. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe if you like.